Okay, so this is another another one. This is a very small little electric spin start clock. It was very cheap. It was only about ten bucks. Um, I bought it. The wiring on the back was a little iffy. There was originally apparently some kind of plug or something they used to plug into the back of it. Well, that's gone, and the wire that's on it now I've re redone. It's the wire it came with though. And it had these two uh, connectors crimped onto the end of the wire and then plugged into the movement. It, that worked fine. It was just sticking out, and I was afraid it was going to break the plug on the inside because it was starting to do some damage. So what I've done is I cut off the top of the pins on the plug uh, just so I have a little extra room. It's very tight in there. It's a very small clock. I'll show you just how small it is in a minute. And I soldered wires onto it, twisted them around, soldered them on, and then made a strainer leaf, and I actually did modify the case a little bit at the bottom and the back for the wire to go out. This is a very small clock. It's made by the Lux Clock Manufacturing Company, Waterbury, Connecticut, in the 1930s. Let's see. Let me shine the light. Maybe it'll... Yeah, Lux. It's very small. It's very small. Probably the smallest... One of the smallest... Uh, electric clocks I've ever seen. Very small. It's only a few inches high. It's about three and a half inches tall. A little more. It's about... Not even. It's just about exactly three and a half inches if I don't count the end. No, nah, it's a little. Maybe three and three quarters. It's about five and a half inches wide. It's about an inch and a half deep very small uh, it's a spin start you can make it run backwards I'm not gonna stop it though it's been running for a couple hours and making sure it uh, runs good that's where the plug was I just put a little piece of cardboard over it and electrical tape on the inside and then I crazy glued it in and it actually looks okay and it's actually pretty solid see there's a little chip there that's where the wire comes out now I couldn't knot the wire but I did put a little glue on it just to be safe, and it, the, just the pressure alone is a, is enough to keep it in place. See, there's the start knob. Time set. Very small. It's very small. The clock face itself is only maybe two inches at the most across. It's a very small. The clock face is about a little less than two inches across. Just about exactly two inches. It's a very small little clock. It runs quiet. If I tip it, it makes noise. But that's because it's not designed to run like that. And the rotor is rubbing a little bit when you do that. Not a big deal. That's normal. It's very quiet though. It's got a very slight hum. And a very slight uh, motor noise. I'll put the camera right up to it. Maybe you can hear it. I don't know if you heard that. It's very small. I mean, in comparison, I'll take my watch off and I'll let you see it next to my watch. This is not the Accutron. This is a Boulevard Precisionist watch. And in comparison, there's the size difference. There's the size difference, not very much. Now yes, this, my watch is a pretty big uh, watch, but the point is, this thing is only a little bit bigger than a watch. Very small dial. It's very cool though, it's a li I, I like the design. It's a very nice clock. There's the bottom. So a, that is actually connected directly to the rotor. For the electric motor inside. Yeah, it's been running for about two and a half hours, and it's keeping good time. It's running quiet. Obviously, the whole thing is pretty well warm now because it's been running and it's got up to operating temperature. But it's running really nice. I'm happy. I like it. I'm gonna. It's really small. It's actually really small. 
I've said that about a million times. We're gonna make it a, little, a million and one. It's a really small little clock. It's probably one of the smallest ones I've ever seen. Definitely the small spin start clock I've ever seen. The entire movement inside is only about an inch and a half around. It's a very small little clock. Very small little movement. The movement's deep, but it's small, and I suspect... I think I think I know what the movement looks like. I couldn't get the cover off the movement completely. I didn't want to risk damaging anything if I didn't have to go in there. So, because it's one of those insert movements, and it's pretty well sealed up. From the Even on the inside, it's just got a metal cone over it. Or a metal cylinder over it to seal it up, and I told I took the bolts out. I couldn't get it apart. I didn't want to risk it damaging anything. Um, yeah, it's a very small movement. I I suspect the movement is probably mostly worm gear reduction, which is typical for something this small. I think the movement. I think I know what it looks like. I think I've seen other ones like it, and it's if it's the movement I think it is. It's going to be all, mostly worm gear reduction, which explains why it's so small. It's a very small motor in it. It's very nice. It looks really nice. This is actually... This isn't even glass, I don't think. It feels like plastic. Thanks for watching.